This is the third video in a series of four of us traveling across the United States from Las Vegas to Florida, traveling over 2,800 miles. In the last two episodes, we had a flat tire, got caught in a snowstorm, the refrigerator door fell off, and we've been trying to outrun a winter storm warning for the past three days. And we spent a lot of money in gas. All right, so here we are, day three in El Paso, Texas. We're getting ready to head to Good Springs, I think it's called, which is about a 300 mile journey. So we're getting a little bit of a late start. We had to take care of some business this morning, put up a few videos and uh, create some content. And now I'm gonna unhook the RV, do a quick pre-trip inspection, and then we're gonna hit the road. So here we go. On the road again, just can't wait to get on the road again. All right, so it seems like travel days are consumed with a lot of gasoline fill-ups. <laughs> this is gonna be our fourth fill-up here in uh, Texas. And look, oh my gosh, look at this. I don't know if these are Lamborghinis, Ferraris, or Corvettes. Probably like a million dollars worth of cars sitting on the back of this thing. It's a lot of money in Corvettes. All right, let's get this baby filled up and uh, yeah, get back on the road. What, what, what are travel days consumed with? Tra gas stops, because <laughs> you go through a lot of gas. Yeah, I think this one might be pretty big because uh, I let this thing get pretty low. So let's go over here and see. And the grand total and still going right now is $150. <laughs> Let's see, this might be a record. I didn't know they let them go this high. So we're in Texas, so everything's bigger in Texas. All right, I think we set a new record here. $181 and 57 gallons. Right, what do you think about that? Is that a lot? Oh man, you're making it look so good, Ryder. Nice job, buddy. All right, hopefully that lasts the day. And uh, let's get back on the road. Mago! All right guys, so crazy. We're cruising through the heart of El Paso right now and there's a little river off to my right and down there across the river is Mexico. A lot of times on travel day, it is long and boring. So I don't film every aspect of the videos because there's not a lot to see, especially when driving across Texas, which takes forever. It's actually 773 miles across the total state of Texas, going from the west side to the east side. All right, we drove about 300 miles today. I think we're gonna call it good here. It's starting to get dark. The weather's turning. It's getting cold. It's starting to rain. So we'll wrap it up for the night. I need to edit a YouTube video. So I need a little bit of time to do that. So we're here guys. All right, we're checked in. I'm glad because it is getting ugly out here and I don't uh, like driving look, in this look, kind of weather. Look behind you, man. I know, every which way. <laughs> yeah. We just can't get away from this winter storm warning that's coming into full effect. It's getting cold too. It's like 45 degrees right now. The temperature just dropped. So we're gonna nestle in for the night and uh, yeah, do some stuff. Hold this, hold this, hold this. I got a thorn in my boot. Oh no, they're everywhere. You know you're in Texas when you got your uh, shoe full of thorns. <laughs> All right, so we pull up and we parked right over here and Bentley right here runs out and he goes, hey, I follow you guys on YouTube. So how crazy is that? Where, where are we out in Texas? Do you know? Odessa. Odessa, Texas and Bentley follows us on YouTube. Hey Bentley, what's up? <laughs> nice to meet you. All right guys, so another cool thing about the RV life is, how, uh, Sky, how long have we been here? About four minutes? <laughs> yeah, like uh, seven minutes, seven ten minutes. minutes. <laughs> and the kids are all, all out here on the road playing soccer, volleyball, football, and we met some super fans, so that's cool. We had to hand out some stickers later, guys. You guys want some stickers? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Woo! Oh, you just got scored on, right? We'll go with that, huh? How do the kids make friends on the road? That's what we asked all the time. <laughs> Been here five minutes, you got some friends. That's how you make friends. You come outside and you play with people. All right, good morning, everybody. We are in Odessa, Texas, Sunday morning. And Sandy is premiering one of our YouTube videos right now. So what's that all about? All right, I got my mouth full, hold on. <laughs> so we have to hurry. Why, Jimmy? Why do we have to hurry, Sandy? <laughs> All right, she got some dry muffins in her mouth. She can't talk. <laughs> so we have to hurry because we just saw the National Weather Survey, something or another, just issued a wind warning that's coming into full effect here in the next hour. So it's again, take cover. take cover, hide, shelter, stay in place. So we're out running this storm that was following us all the way from Vegas. So and I have right a now, down down right down now it's go mode. We got to get out of here quick in the next 30 minutes. Can we do it? Yes, let's go. So if you guys haven't, 
before. We premiere our videos live every Sunday morning and we chat live with you guys like we are right here in the chat. So come join us because it's really fun. All right, so we're gonna come out here and unhook the water, the sewer, and the power, and then hit the road. I just dropped the jacks and put the slide in. But I just wanted you guys to see the weather out here. It's starting to get pretty windy, and that's what the weather warning is all about, is the wind coming in. It's coming in from that way, which is gonna be behind us, so hopefully it'll be pushing us forward and have a little tailwind, so that way we can go a little bit faster. All right, so here's a little fun uh, thing that I forgot to do. And uh, all of our Phillips right here, I left my gas cap back at the last place, so I got to get this covered up because if any water goes in here or dirt or debris, it's going to mess us up big time, so. <laughs> That's how stuff goes sometimes, man. Shh, just don't tell Sandy. She won't see this till she watches the video. All right, guys, so here's the solution. I've got an old gas cap here that actually fell apart, and that's why I got a new one. So this is the old gas cap. We're gonna put them in here right here. I just got a new one, too. So that'll at least cover the hole. And then we got our trusty old duct tape right here, and we're gonna put him on there. And uh, there we go. We'll see if it can withstand the uh, 65 mile an hour test of the freeway system here. And then when we stop to get gas, we'll check it out and see if it's good. I think I like it. All right, here's another reason why it's good to do a pre-tire inspection. I was back here filling out the, filling the back tire to make sure we had good air. And this rock right here was between the tires, the dualies, because I have two tires back there, so it was wedged in between them. So that would hurt us or hurt somebody else. So make sure you do your pre-tire inspection. All right, Sky, is this day three or four? Um, I don't know. Uh, after a while, they all kind of run together. I think it might be three, no, four. We've done a thousand miles. I would say that's three days. Okay, we're on day number four, Sky. Oh, okay. <laughs> they all run together after a while. We got a couple days to go. All right, gas stop number one of the day. Uh, number ten of the trip. Sandy's got to go to the bathroom. Oh, I got to get some diesel. Not diesel. Gasoline. I got to get some gasoline in this thing. God, we got to uh, take off our little contraption. All right, this is the cheapest that we found it so far. $2.95 a gallon in Texas. They make most of the gasoline in Texas, I think. So that's probably why it's cheaper here. All right, so Sandy just asked me how my new gas cap is working. The one that we just got at the store. So I haven't told her yet. Yesterday, I left the gas cap at the gas station. What do you mean? What do you mean what I mean? How did you leave it at the gas station? I put it up here. And you drove off without putting it back on? Yeah. <sighs> oh my god. Wait, wait till she sees my contraption. I hope you didn't film your contraption. Oh, oh yeah, we filmed it for sure. All right, we just put in about 110 bucks. I definitely making sure I put my gas cap back on this time. Check out that nice little setup there. And uh, I think we're ready to hit the road. Meet some new Florence along the way. Have a good one, man. Too, <laughs> all right. Oh, all right. Onward. Everybody in here? Yep. All right. Sometimes I always no. got to double check because we could easily leave somebody behind. And we wouldn't know it for about three hours later. <laughs> leave no man behind. Get stiff. Put about 120 miles in today. Gonna pull over, take a little potty break, and maybe eat some food. Already. Here comes Sandy right now. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, what's happening? <laughs> oh, oh, there we are. Hi, hi. Bathroom stop number two. All right, I wish you could stay in the RV with us, but. You gotta get out of here. Me we gotta too. go. You keep moving. You getting kicked out. Get out. We had our cereal. You stepped on We're my good. phone. Okay, guys. So right now the awning came out. I don't know. How much out is it? Did you guys get it? All right, so Sandy just called and said the awning is coming out. So that's not a good thing. <laughs> so we're gonna pull over here and uh, make sure our awning is not flapping down the road, making us slip over. All right, so let's let's go check it out here. Doesn't look like anything. We got some heavy wind. Sometimes uh, there's a tensioner up there that comes loose, so it might be the switch over there. So 
know, sometimes you got to be a detective here and figure this stuff out. <laughs> All I know is I look up and I see this thing and I go, How what the heck is that? It was like this much. <laughs> and it was like, it was like coming from here and I go, it was like catching it and then it would go down and I was just like, he better answer the phone now! There's a little thing up here that it latches onto. So sometimes it comes. Maybe you should tape up there too. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Jimmy, it's so good you're a handy guy. Here's the switch right here. It feels like it's broken. All right. Good old handy duct tape, gorilla tape to the rescue again. This stuff fixes everything, I'm telling you. All right, I'm looking, babe. So we'll put some nice tape on here. It'll be a hell of a thing to get it off once we get to where we're going, but <laughs> at least we can get to where we're going and it won't come unraveling. Yeah, we don't want that to happen. There we go. It's locked in. It's locked in solid now. That's good. Man, that was scary. I got to tell you, when I'm driving behind and I see the awning start flapping out and it came out a good distance, I started panicking. And I called Jimmy and I'm like, put the awning! And when we left this morning, they said there's 70 mile an hour wind gusts coming. And so. right now, it's picking up. <laughs> so There has been some big gusts. The good thing is it's a tailwind, so it's helping us out, not working against us. Semi tail. Let's get, let's get back on the road. Right. Whoa! I can't even close the door. There we go. It's time to get back on the road. Who's ready? We got about an hour and a half left. That's pretty Woo! good, right? Fort Worth, here we come. Oh, man. <laughs> How's the temperature outside? Oh, it's gorgeous. It's like 80 degrees. What do you think, Ryan? Oh, man. What do you think, Mix? How's it going in here? Are you guys been rocking and rolling? We finally got out of those winds, that's for sure. That was uh, treacherous. Let me tell you what was treacherous was watching the RV in front of me, sort of leaning, and I was like, oh, don't look, don't look, don't look. Oh, 80 degree weather, humidity. I don't know why we love that so much, but we do. Like we like to get out of rest stops when we can and just run a little bit and get some exercise and you know, just get the legs stretching after sitting for so long. What'd you guys find over here? Lizards. What is it? Lizards. There's a squirrel over there. There we go, let's get some exercise, guys. Get the blood flowing, we've been sitting too long. Run, forest! Alright, 316 miles today. We're at uh, an RV park called Cowtown RV Park. We're going to stay here for the night, maybe go out to dinner, and uh, yeah, check it in. Here we go. Uh, oh, stroll out of the door. How you doing? How's your drive? Oh man, I need to stretch. Oh, it was good. You, not, not eventful, which is good. I like that. That's a really good cowboy advice. I like that. Good. Sun's right. out well. It looks like the sun's out. I know. It's beautiful. I'm not used to this. All right, so we're here. We got through the wind. We're oh my god, it's amazing. Let's go out to eat. Let's take the kids out to dinner. All righty. Welcome to Cowtown. We got an official escort in. Here we go. This is our spot for the night. Check it out. Howdy, partner. Make sure to check out the next video where we spend the whole day in the historical Fort Worth stockyards and get quite a show before we head to the beautiful beach town of Destin, where we still can't outrun this dang storm that's been following us for the past 2,800 miles. And like we always say, no matter what you do, get out there and definitely try something new.